This is the KOET Channel 7 Albuquerque, Santa Fe, and it's time now to react to 7 News 825 and on this Thursday morning, October 14th, 1993. Good morning, I'm Peter Wiggins, what's happening? Three former Capital High School football players were arrested on burglary charges this week when falling and breaking at a school when computers were stolen, police said. Now Logan Gonzalez, 18, Mephrey Rabal, 19, and Miguel Gonzalez, 18, were arrested near Capital High School early Tuesday by a Santa Fe County Sheriff's deputy who said he stopped their car and found computer equipment. Santa Fe Public Schools in the backseat. All three young men were honor students at Capital High last year and standout players on the football team according to the Jaguar football program. Santa Fe Carolyn Mills set sail next week on a seven month voyage of danger and discovery. The journey will take her and her companions along the 12,000 mile route from Puerto Rico to San Diego with stops along the way at exotic and sometimes perilous ports. We're just going to make an adventure, said 51 year old Mills, who will be coming on the trip's initial leg by Santa Fe and Signe Bergman and Holly Nurgis. Mills and experienced sailors are organized in a trek will sail the entire 12,000 miles journey. She'll be joined by six relatively inexperienced women sales. For two months stints along the way, two novice male sales, Santa Fe artist Jerry Cacho and his son Alex will act as escorts for Mills on the Mexico side of their trip. The women crew members range from ages 50 to 76. United Nations the Security Council voted Wednesday to impose the sanctions on the hiding in five days unless military leaders stop filing a UN broker to occur. Then, restoring democracy, the United States proposed resolution calls for imposition on oil and arms embargo and a freezing of the overseas assets of the mil country's military leaders if the government does not conform with the accord by 11:59 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time on Monday. The resolution also threatens for punish shady fervor, possibly with a naval blockade, although it does not authorize the use of force. Even turtle truckers haven't found Waldo. Waldo is a 10 pound, 6 5 year old female desert tortoise squad away from the Santa Fe Children's Museum. Three weeks ago, since then, the museum has received one false report that she appeared a quail man. Like NASA and Hunt by UFOs, the museum has not received any portable signs that are wandering Waldo. Museum co director Landy Carriageball invited local truckers and Baba Law and Abel West to trace their abilities by searching for Waldo. Madidishu, Somalia, the White House special representatives in Somalia, says that Wednesday that the United States is seeking an informal truce in its undeclared war with General Mohammed Farah Adi and would make it possible to begin with drawing U.S. troops in early next year. Speaking of reporters, White House envoy Robert B. Oakley also said that he would not rely on the meaning with it, nor he indicated that he would have been in the United States try to prevent the general from becoming president of this country in the future. Many Somalians support him in the envoy acknowledged, spelling out some of the implications that the administration's new emphasis on a political settlement in Somalia. Oakley said the United States would not engage in any mission to arrest the general, even though he remains on the United Nations one list for his forces all of alleged. We're on an ambush in June in which 24 Pakistani peacekeepers were killed. Oakley said an independent commission should determine where Hadid's forces were carried out of the ambush. In the last few days, the U.S. officials have said today while they had no plans to arrest the general, they wouldn't take him into the custody of the opportunity presented itself. Turning in to Action 7 weather here for today. It is going to be Pot Class Guys, high near 68, low about 42 degrees. Currently in Albuquerque at 825 a.m., we got a temperature 53 degrees at Albuquerque. And over in Santa Fe, 51 degrees. That's going to be for the Action 7 News 825 report on this month on this Thursday morning, October 14th, 1993. P.O.S. I be about a good day. I will see you later on. Bye bye, everybody. This is KOAT TV Channel 7 Albuquerque. It's 8 29.